guys, so today I have a Q&A for you all, and I went on my Twitter and I just tweeted out and I was like, hey, ask me questions because I haven't filmed a Q&A in forever, and I, I don't even remember the last time I filmed a Q&A, and I say this every time I film one, I'm like, I don't even remember the last time it was because I just like forget to film them, but they're so fun to film, and so I figured, why not? And so, like I said, I tweeted out, and then now I'm just going to read off of my phone here and um, answer some questions. By the way, my case is from Wildflower, and I just got it and like I am so obsessed with it because even my mom liked it. It just looks so elegant and nice. It's like the cream floral one. <sighs> I love it so much. But um, so yeah, I'm just going to start off. Emily Love asks, what is your favorite thing to do in the summer? I probably have to say my favorite thing to do in the summer is just honestly hang out with my friends. I've been with my friends Kaylee and Nevin like more times than anybody else this whole entire summer. Yeah, I guess just hang out with my friends and like spend time with them and go to the pool and whatnot. Brian Pigarone asks, can we be best friends? Love you. Of course we can be best friends. I mean, you guys all are my best friends, right? I love you too, so thank you. <laughs> Jacqueline Lim asks, how is life going to be without Lindsay? And I was honestly waiting for this question, really. Um, I've honestly just, for a while, been like kind of blocking out the fact that Lindsay's been like going off to college and she is going to be leaving me and I'm going to be an only child, but um, I'm still going to see her and I'm going to want to see her a lot and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see her a lot, even though it is completely across the country. Um, <sighs> yeah, I guess since it's in like the next, well, four days um, that she's actually going to be completely moving out. It's starting to hit me, I guess, but I don't want to, like, ruin my... I don't know. I don't want to get, like, emotional about it, especially on camera, because I just don't want to, like, think about it. Like, I've just been holding it off for a while, like, thinking about how I'm just going to be alone, because, I mean, I'm still going to be able to talk to her. I can watch her videos, you know, whenever I want, and, of course, I'm going to be, like, talking to her, texting her all the time, whatever, um, and I can, like, go out there and visit California and visit her, and, yeah, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be really different. Um, I've never been an only child before. Kind of nervous, but, um, I'll have a car so I can go places if I get bored, but, yeah, it's, it's gonna be different. That's how life's gonna be. <laughs> I'm a nerd asks, what's your favorite memory with your YouTube friends? Me and Aspen were talking about this the other day um, when I was texting her. I, I think that LA was definitely my favorite memory with everybody um, in YouTube land because it's just like, I don't know, LA was just so much fun. Like LA IMATS in January and everybody was there and that was the first time I met Hudson and now like he's my best friend. I always think back to LA and I'm like, wow, and it was my first time in California and it was so much fun and like a lot of people were together and it was just like... It was just a good time, and so definitely LA IMATS in January was like the best time ever. Megan asks, hi, same name. She even spells it the same name. Uh, she asks, if you could be a, a Jenner or a Kardashian for a day, who would you be? Definitely Kylie, because I'm obsessed with her, so... Well, not obsessed, but I love her. Hayden asks, do you like watching Dance Moms? I love watching Dance Moms. It's one of my favorite shows, really. Manuela asks, do you have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. I am single. The same girl who already asked a question. I, I know I don't typically do like people who ask more than one, but I'm a nerd just tweeted me and she was like, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? By the way, I made this collage for you, heart. And I just want to show it to you guys. Look how cute this is. I hope it's focusing. And it says like good vibes on it and has like a pair of Converse. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Katrina or Katarina, either way, she pronounces it, asks, Hi Megan, it's me. Oh, she made me a video forever ago. I know who it is. Oh, hi. Um, okay, she asks, what vacations are you going on this summer? I love how she said it's me. That's so cute. Of course I recognize her. I am going to, well, LA, LA in four days, like it's Monday right now, and on Friday we're leaving to go to LA to move Lindsay in, and it's just me, my mom, and my sister. And we're only staying there for three days, unfortunately. I wish we were going for longer, but we're staying through the 5th through the 8th, and then the 8th through the 15th, I'm going on a family vacation with um, my family to Colorado. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be like hiking and whatnot. Um, my family loves like outdoor stuff, but Lindsay's not gonna be on that vacation, unfortunately, this year. Like normally we'll do a beach vacation with the whole family, but instead we're 
we're going to Colorado this year and Lindsay can't come, which is unfortunate. But yeah, it's going to be me and my brother and then my parents and I'm super excited for that. And I am hoping to go to VidCon at the end of my summer vacation too. So hopefully if that works out, then we can, you know, do the whole VidCon thing. That would be super fun. If I was to go to that, I would go probably through like the 3rd or the 4th of August through the 8th and then come home. So I'm hoping that I can go to LA. So maybe that's like another LA trip and I can go back and spend a little bit more time there. Lydia asks, how's life dear moi? Life is amazing. It's really great. And moi to you too. Megan asks, if you could eat only one thing and one thing only for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Hi Megan, I know who you are, yes. It would honestly most likely be mangoes because one, mangoes are good for you and two, they're like my favorite fruit ever. And so just eating mangoes 24-7, how amazing would that be? Well, of course you get sick of it, but it would be mangoes, so it would be okay. And you could have like frozen mangoes. A mango smoothie, you know, whatever you want. Aspen asks, remember when we couldn't get a cab to Times Square for like three hours? Yes, and that was hell. That was terrible. We were ever, we thought we were gonna get the first cab and we were like, oh my god, yes, and ran after it and they were just like, no, like you, we weren't getting a cab for you, like we weren't pulling over for you. And then we, it was me, Sophie, and Aspen and we were walking around for over an hour trying to find a cab. Going to New York at that time, we couldn't find cabs anywhere. It was so hard. <sighs> that was so annoying. But yes, Aspen, I do remember that. <laughs> Carrie asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how close are you and Lindsay? And I'd probably have to say a 10 because Lindsay's like my best friend. Like, she knows everything about me and we tell each other everything. So, yeah. Okay, somebody asked me a kill, fusk, marry that I, of course, have to answer because this is just really funny. And so she says, kill, fusk, marry Hudson, Joey, Graceffa, or Sawyer. And, okay, this is really funny because, I mean, it's Hudson, so. I'd probably kill Sawyer. Sorry, Sawyer. Um, I'd fusk Joey... <laughs> I'd fusk Joey Graceffa and I'd marry Hudson because, I mean, I couldn't kill Hudson and I couldn't just fusk him. And then the last question that I'm going to answer is from Carson, and she asks, do you ever regret starting YouTube? And, of course, I have never once regretted starting my YouTube channel, even getting hate. I'm not like, oh, wow, I just wish I had never started this YouTube channel in the first place. I've told you guys, well, I explained it more in my um, 50 Random Facts About Me tag, but you guys literally are my life, and I am so grateful to have every single one of you in my life, just like have you guys as my viewers. You guys are the nicest people people ever and I mean I wouldn't be able to do this without an audience like you are what keeps me going obviously and so no I have never once regretted starting a YouTube channel it was the best decision I have ever made in my whole entire life and I wouldn't take it back for the world um, YouTube has given me so many amazing opportunities that I can't even begin to explain how thankful I am oh yeah and I also wanted to say yesterday was my anniversary my one-year anniversary of being here on YouTube June 30th of 2000 2012 was when I posted my first video and it's been a completely wild and amazing journey since then and I'm so incredibly incredibly grateful and thankful and just everything full of happiness um, to have you guys just bring me to where I am today. I once again cannot thank you guys enough and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And we're only staying there. <coughs> and we're only staying there for five day for five days. But then the <coughs> and that was the first time I've had. But then. <coughs>